Over the last five years, the humanitarian community has been dealing with crises that have affected more people, lasted longer, and required more resources than in previous decades. Every year, over a hundred million people need urgent, life-saving humanitarian assistance. In some countries, humanitarian needs continue to grow, mainly because of unresolved conflict. Violence propels entire communities to flee in search of safety. In 2017 alone, 44,400 people were forced to flee their homes every day. البلاد يعني منتهي تماما الناس يعني مشردين مساكين ضايعين لا عمل ولا مشغلة ويقول ينتظروا الهاونات والقصف والضرب كل ليلة حتى أنه ما ينام مش ممكن برا فحطنا لنا العدد <تصفيق> إذا كنا إحنا مثلا ما حصلناش بيت في المنطقة دي كنا ممكن نحن نجي ساهم في أي شارع من اللي إحنا خيمة ولا عشة ونمشي حالنا والحمد لله لا ندبر أمورنا مرة كذا تبديل أكثر قطرك من هذه الدباب البلاستيكية يعني صعبة يعني الحياة والمعيشة صعبة Many of those who flee violence remain trapped in conflict zones while searching for safety in their home country. Others cross borders to seek refuge abroad. As of the end of 2017, 68.5 million people were displaced by conflict or violence, an increase of nearly 10 million in just three years. However, people are not forced to leave their homes and livelihoods only because of conflicts. The changing climate is a major force to be reckoned with. The number of disasters caused by extreme weather events is on the rise. An average of 345 disasters a year affect about 350 million people a year. Some 2 billion people live in fragile parts of the world and are extremely vulnerable to the impact of conflicts and disasters. Nah, di situ saya sudah panik. Langsung lari saya ke atas. Belum sampai 10 menit saya di atas, langsung dia goyang keras itu. Sekarang kita mau kembali ke pemukiman kita sekarang ini, sekarang sudah rusak semua. Yang rusak ini rata-rata iya 100%. Nah, jadi mau kemana lah nasibnya nelayan di sini sekarang ini? Ya Allah, kejadian. Cukup satu kali ini lah kejadian itu kan. Di wilayahnya kita, ya Allah. Food insecurity is high on the agenda again. Hunger is back to the levels experienced in 2010. More than 820 million people are food insecure across the world. A wave of horrific conflicts, in some cases linked with terrorism and extremist insurgencies, has also created enormous needs. The cost of responding to crises has also gone up because of ever higher standards in meeting humanitarian need. Today, humanitarian response focuses not only on minimum life-saving requirements, like food, shelter and water, but also covers better health, education and protection, especially for women and girls, and the restoration of people's livelihoods. With increased needs, the international community has risen to the challenge by providing increased funding. Yet, the funding gap still hovers at around 40%.
Next year, the United Nations and other humanitarian organizations aim to reach 94 million people and will require more than $21.9 billion to meet their essential needs. Now, more than ever, the world needs to invest in humanity. <laughs>